over here scratching because you're sleepy? That's very sad. You done laying in the sun? You want a cookie? It's hot out, honey. Come on. Come on. Let's go. No, you laying back down. My dog laying down in the uh, 110 degree heat weather and with black double coat. You're such a strange dog. Lobstacle time. What are you doing, bud? Are you sleepy? You're scratching because you're sleepy. That's very sad. It's very sad. Hands up. Oh, okay. You have a good night night? Have you created your own brand yet? 
Not yeah, I mean, I kind of don't have the time. I'm always in film, working out on the field, so. But I mean, I do my little thing. Yeah. I was listening to Wally earlier. Um, this is uh, Sean. Okay. Um, it's like what makes it like this on the phone songs. None of those say clean, edited version. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it is? Okay. You know, there was an opportunity that you could have left her uh, to go to the NFL. Why did you decide not to? Uh, really, um, whenever it happened, I wasn't really, like, I didn't really know too much about it. And um, honestly, being around these guys and coming to teach you is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Um, Next, uh, we got another question. How about uh, right here? Yeah, we'll grab this. We're, we're gonna work our way to the back. He knows you. I got this. He knows you. Uh, hi, Ty. This question's for you. Um, how many wins do you have in Fortnite? Well, I actually checked this yesterday. So, uh, I got about uh, five solos. Uh, I'm doing about forty uh, squads. So, put in a little work. Squads yeah. losing so many of those that I can carry. Right. So, yeah. Somebody else is over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I'll take that. Uh, how about it? Next question. <laughs> I couldn't do a follow up. Sorry. Let's grab a seat. Grab a microphone. We'll just visit for a little bit. Grab that. Yeah, the stage will handle you, I promise. <laughs> did Coach Fitz have any return guards for those interceptions? No, but he did have two interceptions. Three interceptions. Zero <laughs> return. One was minus. So that's my first question going to be about my diet, like you asked, Tom. <laughs> yeah, you want to go through it? What's your uh, diet like every day? Uh, just try not to eat everything. That's <laughs> This is one of the last nights, by the way, where we learned the difference between Gary and Coach Paps. Okay? This is the last the way through in, in fact, can you define that for me, the difference between the two? Sure, I'll give you an example. So, Ben Bandit, you are to death, but Gary would say they're great guys. Coach P would say the last preseason favorite defense man was for KU last year, and he didn't play with a damn. <laughs> Okay. So, we gotta go get ready to play. Yeah. Preseason number three uh, in, the, in the Big 12. You heard your player, Sean Robinson, brought it up. It uh, doesn't really, really focus on it. But that is a level of respect to be preseason number three. Well, you, you know, you know we are, I wish we were sixth again. Uh, that's, you know, that's what we do, how we play it. Uh, you know, I, I think it, you, you never can't tell because they, like, for example, they picked us preseason the number one defense, but we only had one first team player on the, on the team. So um, I think, you know, just from what I watched this spring, kind of what I heard the whole night as far as we've got to grow up with the offensive line, obviously quarterback, Sean, Mike, uh, Justin, Grayson, they all, we, somewhere there have, we have to play well. And really probably the biggest thing for us is just to stay healthy as a whole group. We can grow in a couple positions and we'll have a chance. You toured Chamber the other day, and I heard it read a couple of quotes since then that you uh, you like the commitment, you like what this team has done so far in the offseason. Well, you know, it's, you know, it's uh, one of the things they allow you by rule wise is we come out watch them uh, lift and run now. And so, you know, it's one of those, we've had a few thunderstorms that didn't, you know, but a couple guys were giving each other, and I you know, just told them, you're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem. And so for us, you know, you're always going to find out about what kind of people we have and what kind of leadership and what kind of chemistry. Because uh, you know how it's going to be, Brian. You've been here in Fort Worth for a long time also. It doesn't matter how it is in July. Come August 1st, the wind will quit blowing. Mm -hmm. It will quit raining. It will be about 115. And then I'll find out what kind of people they are. <laughs> all the different things you go through. And so the best part, you saw them up here and all the guys you talked to tonight, the best part about them is it's, it's I call it the neighbor rule. You know, when your kids are growing up um, and they're at your house and they won't make their bed and they won't listen to you and they're running out the door and they do all this, but when they go to the neighbor's house, which, yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah. <laughs> so then you know you did the right job, right? So that's what I the same with these My guys. Dog is like that. I love sitting back there and watching them answer questions anything. because how they, or I'm standing here and watching them stand back in the back and how they treat people and how they do things. 
That tells me whether we have or we have not. And you know, you would thought, because we only asked about five, but about 20 showed up, <laughs> right? So I, I still have my credit, <laughs> which is awesome. So that means I've got 105 that I still haven't reached yet. <laughs> you can do all the things you want to do, but at the end of the day, you want to you want to be when you get done, kind of like we felt like in the Rose Bowl, God. maybe we were. So good. Is that you know that there was nobody better than you were at the end of the year, and that's what you're trying to get done. So you try to take a group of guys and coaching staff and really, you know, people don't understand, so many people touch our kids. And so between our training room and our equipment room and our strength staff and the professors across campus and everybody that touches, everybody has a chance to possibly change that kid's life. And you never know who that person's going to be. Uh, that's going to make a difference on that day or whatever you're doing. So for us, uh, that's what we try to get accomplished. You know, and that's why we stay, you know, it's, you know, you can say, well, that, that he looks like he's not a nice guy. Well, that nice, that kind of, not a nice guy on TV, that's the guy that leaves for more money, that's the guy that leaves and does things, that's the guy that does it. It's not the guy that stays, it's not the guy that helps out guys, it's not, it's not that guy. And so, you know, at the end of the day, it's hard to win, whether it's raising a family and keeping everybody happy or running a business and making money or trying to win football games. Foot, you know, the bottom line to us, it's not easy. If you do the wrong thing, the football gods will pay you back. That's so true. We try to keep them happy. That's true. Speaking of happy, how happy are you with this crowd here tonight? Oh, it's awesome. Woo! Great. Woo! great crowd here tonight. We had some great questions. Fun to see them out here. How important is it for you to see every one of them knowing Amy oh, Burke's yeah. name? Oh, yeah, we better not, since you named the other two, you better make sure you talk about Kelsey. Yeah! That's right. And where is Miss Kelsey? Woo! Is she here, the first lady? Stand up, Kelsey. Yes. You can all stand up. There she is. First lady of TCU football, Kelsey. Woo! Right. This has been a great night, though. This is a fun event every year, and I know one that you look forward to. Well, no, you know, it's, it's like we have a foundation dinner money. One of the things that happens to us is I just don't see people. What happens to you is you have, you know, we, we stay so busy. The Big 12, the new recruiting rules, they've kept us so busy. Is that there's so many great people to tell for work. And like the other night for dinner, you were, you were there, Brian. I mean, some of the people I haven't seen in two years since we had it just for the simple reason. We've been hard charging, trying to get to a common goal. And I uh, mean, by the way, we're trying to raise money for kids, and we're trying to do this, we're trying to recruit, and all the things you do. Uh, but at the end of the day, one of the things that if there, if there was a regret, I said it green, if there was a regret of mine, is that I just don't get a chance to enjoy Fort Worth uh, like a lot of everybody else sitting in this crowd is because what we're trying to get accomplished. Right? That's the truth. There's tragedy. so many great things to do, <laughs> so many great people to be around. Uh, and so if you don't, you know, we, we spend too much time doing all the rest of it, so. It's fun. Uh, thank you all, ladies. Yes. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you here at Wake Up Studio about seven weeks from now. Yeah. 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 Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Yeah. 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 Yes, right. Thank you. Go Frogs. Woo! Y'all are never that fast. Y'all must have planned tonight. Did you hear Kelsey? No. She said, y'all are never that fast. I didn't even notice those who were saying it. I heard that. <laughs> my favorite youtubers and also my it's fine shirt from wofsicle yeah so excited for season two hopefully i know a lot of people want them to go uh international i hope they come to texas 
Okay. I'm going to close out this vlog. Um, I went to the uh, Gary Patterson TCU football women's clinic on Thursday. So it was a lot of fun. Um, I got to go for free because one of my friends, uh, her company sponsors the event. So she received like a table, I guess. And we had really good seats as you saw. Um, we got to ask a football player a question. Uh, you know, there were five on stage, five football players on stage, and then there were two tables of football players behind us. So, um, our question that we asked was a little egged on by them. Um, the event was already a blast, but having football players right behind us just like elevated the fun. They, you know, they're a big old family and you could tell with the uh, heckling that was going on. Um, but it was, it was a really fun event. I'm so grateful that my friend thought of me um, when she was trying to figure out who to give tickets to. Um, and then I got to invite a couple of friends um, in addition. One of my best friends just uploaded her first YouTube video ever. So shouts out to Love Lindsay. Um, she has recently gotten into makeup and she's doing an unboxing. So go check out Lindsay. Of the products from that box. I'm wearing that. And give her some love. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I went on a date yesterday. It was good. He wanted to hang out again yesterday and I freaked out and maybe scared him because I said no and then haven't heard from him since. So that's my life. Boys are confusing. Anyway, go give my friend Lindsay some love. Okay, <laughs> I'm signing off now. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. What would you ask football players? Bye!